Maya Angelou Biography Civil Rights Activist, Author, Poet, Activist, 1928-2014 Maya Angelou was a poet and award-winning author known for her acclaimed memoir I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings and her numerous poetry and essay collections. Who is Maya Angelou? Marguerite Annie Johnson Angelou, April 4, 1928 to May 28, 2014, known as Maya Angelou, was an American author, actress, screenwriter, dancer, poet and civil rights activist best known for her 1969 memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, which made literary history as the first non-fiction bestseller by an African-American woman. Angela received several honors throughout her career, including two NAACP Image Awards in the Outstanding Literary Work, Nonfiction, category, in 2005 and 2009. Maya Angelou's poetry Just Give Me a Cool Drink of Water For I Die, 1971 Angelou published several collections of poetry, but her most famous was 1971's collection Just Give Me a Cool Drink of Water For I Die, which was nominated for the Pulitzer Prize. On the pulse of mourning one of her most famous works, Angela wrote this poem especially for and recited at President Bill Clinton's inaugural ceremony in January 1993. The occasion marked the first inaugural recitation since 1961, when Robert Frost delivered his poem The Gift Outright at President John F. Kennedy's inauguration. Angelou went on to win the Grammy Award, Best Spoken Word Album, for the audio version of the poem. Maya Angelou's books I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, 1969 Friend and fellow writer James Baldwin urged Angelou to write about her life experiences, resulting in the enormously successful 1969 memoir about her childhood and young adult years, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. The poignant story made literary history as the first non-fiction bestseller by an African-American woman. The book, which made Angelou an international star, continues to be regarded as her most popular autobiographical work. In 1995, Angelou was lauded for remaining on the New York Times paperback non-fiction bestseller list for two years, the longest-running record in the chart's history. All God's Children Need Traveling Shoes, 1986 A lyrical exploration about of what it means to be an African American in Africa, this autobiographical book covers the years Angelou spent living in Ghana. Wouldn't Take Nothing For My Journey Now, 1994 This inspirational essay collection features Angelou's insights about spirituality and living well. A Song Flung Up to Heaven, 2002 Another autobiographical work, A Song Flung Up to Heaven explores Angelou's return from Africa to the US and her ensuing struggle to cope with the devastating assassinations of two human rights leaders with whom she worked, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. The book ends when, at the encouragement of her friend James Baldwin, Angelou began work on I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Letter to My Daughter, 2008 Dedicated to the Daughter Angelou Never Had, this book of essays features Angelou's advice for young women about living a life of meaning. Cookbooks Interested in Health, Angelou's published cookbooks include Hallelujah! The Welcome Table, A Lifetime of Memories with Recipes, 2005, and Great Food, All Day Long, 2010. Death after experiencing health issues for a number of years, Maya Angelou died on May 28, 2014, at her home in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The news of her passing spread quickly with many people taking to social media to mourn and remember Angelou. Singer Mary J. Blige and politician Cory Booker were among those who tweeted their favorite quotes by her in tribute. President Barack Obama also issued a statement about Angelou, calling her a brilliant writer, a fierce friend, and a truly phenomenal woman. Angelou had the ability to remind us that we are all God's children, that we all have something to offer, he wrote.
Angelou's son and husbands in 1944, a 16-year-old Angelou gave birth to a son, Guy, a short-lived high school relationship led to the pregnancy. A poet himself, Angelou's son now goes by the name Guy Johnson. In 1952, the future literary icon wed Anastasios Angelopoulos, a Greek sailor from whom she took her professional name, a blend of her childhood nickname, Maya, and a shortened version of his surname. The couple later divorced. Notoriously secretive about her marriages, Angelou was likely married at least three times, including in 1973 to a carpenter, Paul Duvel. When and where was Maya Angelou born? Maya Angelou was born on April 4, 1928, in St. Louis, Missouri. Family, early life and education Angelou had a difficult childhood. Her parents split up when she was very young, and she and her older brother, Bailey, were sent to live with their father's mother, Ann Henderson, in Stamps, Arkansas. As an African American, Angelou experienced first-hand racial prejudices and discrimination in Arkansas. She also suffered at the hands of a family associate around the age of seven. During a visit with her mother, Angelou was raped by her mother's boyfriend. Then, as vengeance for the sexual assault, Angelou's uncles killed the boyfriend. So traumatized by the experience, Angelou stopped talking. She returned to Arkansas and spent years as a virtual mute. During World War II, Angelou moved to San Francisco, California, where she won a scholarship to study dance and acting at the California Labor School. Also during this time, Angelou became the first black female cable car conductor, a job she held only briefly, in San Francisco. After giving birth to her son, she worked a number of jobs to support herself and her child. Acting and singing career in the mid-1950s, Angelou's career as a performer began to take off. She landed a role in a touring production of Porgy and Bess, later appearing in the off-Broadway production Calypso Heat Wave, 1957, and releasing her first album, Ms. Calypso, 1957. A member of the Harlem Writers Guild and a civil rights activist, Angelou organized and starred in the musical review Cabaret for Freedom as a benefit for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, also serving as the SCLC's Northern Coordinator. In 1961, Angelou appeared in an off-Broadway production of Jean Jennett's The Blacks with James Earl Jones, Lou Gossett Jr. and Cicely Tyson. Angelou went on to earn a Tony Award nomination for her role in the play Look Away, 1973, and an Emmy Award nomination for her work on the television miniseries Roots, 1977, among other honors. Time in Africa Angelou spent much of the 1960s abroad, living first in Egypt and then in Ghana, working as an editor and a freelance writer. Angelou also held a position at the University of Ghana for a time. In Ghana she also joined a community of revolutionist returnees exploring Pan-Africanism and became close with human rights activist and black nationalist leader Malcolm X in 1964. On returning to the U.S., she helped him set up the Organization of Afro-American Unity, which disbanded after Malcolm X's assassination the following year. Screenplay author and director after publishing Caged Bird, Angelou broke new ground artistically, educationally and socially with her drama Georgia, Georgia in 1972, which made her the first African-American woman to have her screenplay produced. In 1998, seeking new creative challenges, Angelou made her directorial debut with Down in the Delta, starring Alpha Woodard. Other awards Angelou's career has seen numerous accolades, including the Chicago International Film Festival's 1998 Audience Choice Award and a nod from the Acapulco Black Film Festival in 1999 for Down in the Delta. She also won two NAACP Image Awards in the Outstanding Literary Work, Nonfiction, category, for her 2005 cookbook and 2008's Letter to My Daughter. Personal life Martin Luther King Jr., a close friend of Angelou's, was assassinated on her birthday, April 4, in 1968. 
Angelou stopped celebrating her birthday for years afterward, and sent flowers to King's widow, Coretta Scott King, for more than 30 years, until Coretta's death in 2006. Angelou was also good friends with TV personality Oprah Winfrey, who organized several birthday celebrations for the award-winning author, including a week-long cruise for her 70th birthday in 1998.